First tonight, a University of South Alabama student is recovering from a number of injuries suffered after being hit by a car in the parking lot of her dorm Sunday. USA Campus Police have confirmed the incident as a hit and run. Fox 10 News reporter Toy Thornton joins us now live in our newsroom with details on this. Toy. Yeah, Bob, 18-year-old Cheyenne Sharp and her mother say the past two days have been long and hard as she recovers from the hit and run. She says this will be trying and the road to recovery isn't over by far, but through the process, they're hoping to find some sort of justice. What? What did you say? A cracked rib, a head injury, bruised lungs, and a fractured kneecap are all injuries that 18-year-old Cheyenne Sharp suffers from. According to Sharp's mother, Jenny Reynolds, the hit and run happened Sunday evening as Sharp was heading to her room. Hours later, she got a phone call no parent ever wants to get. Initially, I was hysterical. I couldn't stay still. It's not something you ever anticipate or even think about hearing on the other end of the phone about your child. Reynolds says she reached out to USA police, but they have no information and there were no surveillance cameras in the area. The University of South Alabama confirmed. Sharp doesn't remember much, but she believes she saw a beige or tan colored car. She feels uh, slighted in a way because she, she feels like she has no faith in humanity because somebody hit her and then just left her there broken and bleeding in the rain. And Cheyenne's healing will take some time, but in the meantime, the family is looking for justice. So she's got to be a cripple for six weeks, use a walker, and I'm like, you're 18. I should not be going through this with an 18-year-old, you know, with a walker and crutches. The hit and run happened around 5.30 Sunday near the Delta 5 dorm. If you know anything about it, call USA Police in the newsroom at Toy Thornton, Fox 10 News.